last time on Dog Naropa Trigger Happy Havoc. Okay. Alright, but. I think Bryce's relationship model is pretty noticeable too. I don't know if seems like the place you find this. And now, back to trying to ditch school. If you just do it, it'll turn out okay. Just like if you want to donate to my Amazon wish list and Patreon, it also turn out okay. But in the meantime, it's in day 98. And we're back for more Dying the Rope Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time, we learned the history, the mystery of Genocide Jack. And that soccer liked spilling coffee on, on carpets. But now it's time for the trial. Because the red door is right through here. Time to go through the door again. So is everyone ready to what? Mm -hmm. Am I blind? I remember seeing somebody. Yo. Yeah, Toko's not here. Huh? And Toko is. Huh? You really don't remember, Mon? Come on. Kidding, kidding. I'm just kidding. How can I forget that little nut job? Woo! This is a crucial part of the class trial this time. What are you gonna do? Okie dokie! I'll just go ahead and drag her out here. Stick and spooning. Just one moment, please. Like he said, a few minutes later, he reappeared dragging Toko behind him. I didn't want to go, but he forced me. Can't believe you dragged a girl around. Yes. Terrible! You're terrible. You. So everyone's here, right? Okay, then let's on the elevator and let's get the show on the road. <laughs> I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. So, so we get going. It's time to find out who killed Fusasaki. Chihiro. The hero Fushizaki. She was so she was so gentle, calm and so calm and meek. Nobody had any problems with her. Someone made a choice to kill a, a girl like that. That murder is one of us. Someone's staying right here. Was it you? <laughs> you need a plane to work with. I give you plenty to work with. Show us how far your logic can take you. <laughs> eh, I guess it was, it was in this one. Eh. Hmm. There's something odd about Taco's behavior. I don't think mere shock is enough to explain it. Come on. Fucking Toko man, what's got her so worked up? How very sad. Miss Fusaki, I must admit, for being 3D, she was quite remarkable. Of course, just the idea of 3D makes me cringe. Hmm. I don't know why the killer did what they did, but I'm sure it'll always work out. Just always for bills, right, bro? Hmm. 
You ready with your windows? Well, <laughs> I will uncover the villain who performs the heinous acts on a wicked individual. And finally, carry Gary. Nope, damn it. Count on it. Shall we go? Shall we begin? No choice, right? We have to do this. It's true. Yes. Gave a small nod in reply. With one last deep breath, I walked toward the elevator on shaky legs. With each step forward, I can could, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. As soon as everyone was on, the elevator began to descend. I couldn't get a handle on my emotions. I couldn't stop speculating. The steel box sank with heavy clunking sounds deeper and deeper into the ground. As we went deeper, the uneasiness in my heart grew bigger and bigger. The elevator was unaffected, however, it continued to descend without hesitation until finally it came to a sudden stop. What do you think? I redecorated it. Isn't it so fresh? Isn't it so exciting? <sighs> Don't waste your time. Our time with stupid questions. Let's get this over with. Good, good. Yeah, I'll rip brain to go. Can't say I can't hate it. Not at all. Uh, woo okay, then let's get the show on the road. Everyone, please find your sat and seats. And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. Yeah. Set skills. All right. New skills I, I got today. There was a voice. Trick bell. Vocabulary. Increase bullet capacity. Yeah, okay. How do you work? Lots of real two tools at once. Effective during. Alright. All right. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. Okay. Now I kind of cheated a little bit before. I looked some stuff up and I found out I did so badly in, in both time battles before. I, I kind of find out what's what's what skills. People gave me skills to make both time battle easier. Hopefully, something's gonna be any hard. Uh, something's gonna get, get, get any easier going forward. So, <laughs> try to make it a little easier for myself. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. <sighs> but if you pick the wrong one. Y'all die. Then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Okay then. So first off, let's talk about the murder weapon. First, we have to make clear what was used to deliver the fatal blow. instrument, but what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? 
I bet it was an iron pipe. Interesting. That certainly would make for a powerful weapon. Who aren't you hero? No, look at that. This is a kill chair that wasn't in the locker room. Chihiro's fatal injury. It appears it was a head wound. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was an iron pipe. Interesting. That yeah. certainly would make for a powerful weapon. Why aren't you here? Chihiro's fatal injury. It appears that we're... According to the Monokuma file, what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was an iron pipe. Interesting. Damn it! That certainly would make for a powerful weapon. Who are Chihiro? Okay, now I'm gonna leave this thing. Chihiro's fatal injury. It appears it was a head. Okay. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt Slow instrument. down a little bit. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was an iron pipe. Interesting. Damn it! That certainly would make a powerful weapon. Who are Chihiro? Chihiro's fate it appears it was a head. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. What kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was an iron pipe. Da no, damn it. Interesting. Oh my god! That certainly would make for a powerful weapon. Chihiro's fate, it appears it was a head wound. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. What kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was an iron pipe. Oh my god! That certainly would make for a powerful weapon. <sighs> According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. What kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was an iron pipe. No. Damn it! Oh, God, I'm gonna lose this one. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. But. What kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was an iron pipe. What? Right? What? Chihiro's fatal injury. It appears it was a head. Oh, damn it! I had right like I, I must have clicked it wrong accidentally. Blunt instrument, but what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was an iron pipe. No, that's wrong. Oh God! Can we agree that the object that dealt the fatal blow was the dumbbell found at the scene of the crime? Yes. Stupid aiming technology. It was covered in blood. And there was nothing else at the scene that could have caused that kind of injury. And the wound on the victim's head is consistent with the shape of the dumbbell. Yeah, Kerry Gary. As you're... far as I'm concerned, there's no mistake and no room for doubt on this one. You looked at her head wound? Well, duh. Yes! That's so creepy! She, she died, you idiot! If you don't mind, I will proceed from here. Let's move on to discussion of the culprit. Although, I believe the criminal behind this heinous act is already quite clear. What? For real? Chihiro's killer is... The fiendish serial killer, Genocide Jack. 
I, I think got me have spoken. Genocide Jack, the being a serial killer. Did he really care to kill Chihiro? And you know, add the knockout debate. Would you like to add here more? Sure. For this, this debate lines and noise will appear to interrupt your reactions. The true bullets will disappear if they hit these lines, the obstacles on your debates. But there's ways to keep this white noise from getting your way. Pr press the X button to attach the silencer, which you can use to shoot down the white noises. I hope you shoot an actual remark with your silencer instead of the white noise. The time limit will decrease, so keep the careful aim when you have your silencer out. Love you. If you actually sit to the gentle, you might not to appear at all. Not for me, however. Can you with the silencer and just in front of you? Good luck then, have fun! The culprit is Genocide Jack. I'm short. Case closed, as far as I'm concerned. That's impossible! Why? What makes it impossible? Well, I mean, come on! There's just no proof for it! Hey, so, speaking of Genocide Jack, I don't know who that is! <laughs> no proof for it. It's, it has to be. The culprit is Genocide Jack. I'm sure. Case closed. As far as I'm concerned. But that's impossible. Why? What makes it impossible? Well, I mean, come on. There's just no proof. No, damn it. Uh. Damn it. So, speaking of genocide, yeah, I don't know who that is. Culprit is Genocide Jack. Case closed, as far as I'm concerned. But that's impossible. Why? What makes it impossible? Well, I mean, come on. There's just no proof for it. No, it's wrong. You're wrong, Hina. I might know one reason he could be involved. What? I found this file while I was looking around the archive in the library. I guess it's some kind of confidential file the police put together about the Genocide Jack case. What? That's kind of weird as shit, isn't it? What was something like that doing in the library? The why of it is probably more trouble than it's worth. So let's forget about that for now. More importantly, it outlines all the specifics of every Genocide Jack case in exceeding detail. According to the file, there appear to be two defining characteristics in every Genocide Jack case. The first is that a bloody message is found written at the scene of every murder. Oh, that's right. Boob lust. Boob lust? Ah, uh, no. It's actually blood lust. But more important is the other characteristic. And it's something that has never been made public. Never made public? What the hell is it? Why don't you tell them, Makoto? Is it, is, don't know is best of mind at that first place. Victim listening. Apparently, in every genocide Jack case, the killer suspends the body in a certain way. Other than the killer. The only people who know about this are the higher-ups in the police department. However, Chihiro was most definitely suspended in the same way. Not the same way. So, how did the culprit know about this when only high-level police officials were aware of it? There's only one logical answer I can think of. It's because the culprit in this case is the real Genocide Jack. No fucking way! You're saying Genocide Jack is one of us? Yes, 
In fact, it's Toko. No mystery there, like, pff, it's Toko. There you go. It's Toko. What? Genocide Jack's true identity is Toko Fukawa. You lie! What? Hey, okay, wait, hold on a sec. Toko huh? has, like, blood of phobia or whatever, remember? What kind of serial killer is afraid of blood? Yeah. Is Toko genocide Jack? The answer is yes and no. Another riddle. Man, why is this gonna be so complicated? Why gotta be so stupid? That's like a riddle in a way, but I just uh, about to see it. Inside Jack is Toko, but isn't Toko? What does that mean? Now I understand. Psycho Sis Is it because Genocide Jack has a split personality? Why did, why did they have that there? It said it looks on crazy. Instead of that. DID or something like that. Huh? I think I read that somewhere in the file too. They thought that the suspect might have what did they call it? Dissociative identity disorder. Oh, okay. But still, to go and say that about Miss Fukawa is perfectly acceptable. Toko's strange behavior after seeing the body is proof enough that she has a split personality. I I Tagami have spoken. Her behavior changed. Wait, she fainted. I got it! You're talking about how she started acting totally different than usual, right? That's right. Think back. She fainted when she saw Chihiro's corpse, and then, when she woke up... I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, that dead body? Hey, are you dead? So Someone said her head real hard, Mom, when she fainted. Oh, it has a top and a back and a front, top any and a bottom, and see the truth. And I have lies. This is, is it quite concerning? I mean, she sounds completely different. She was acting funny, that's for sure. That melancholy tone of hers completely disappeared. Don't go assigning adjectives to my tone without permission. Not to mention, once she regained consciousness and saw Chihiro's body again, she was utterly calm. In other words, within her is one personality that can handle blood, and one that obviously can't. <laughs> so when Toko trapped herself in her room, it's because she was scared of Genocide Jack? I won't let Genocide Jack have control. I'll drive out the killer. Drive out the murderous fiend. The reason she locked herself in her room wasn't to keep other people from getting in. It was to keep her other personality from getting out. What? Toko was afraid. Afraid of the murderous fiend inside of her. Of killing even more people. <gasps> How? Yeah. How can you know all this? I do believe you misunderstood her. What she's trying to say isn't, how can you know all this? No, what she wants to know is, how could you tell them? Huh? Last night, 
Just before Monokuma gave his motive speech, Toko and I had a strange conversation. She told me a most interesting story. She said, a murderous fiend lived within her, and she was afraid it could appear and attack at any time. And that trepidation is what's caused her to have such a bleak attitude. Isn't that right, Toko? <laughs> oh, what? Sure. This is all a lie. Right, Toko? You said you wouldn't tell anyone. <laughs> what? You promised. I can't believe you lied. Oh. Factory one, they got me to jerk. You have only yourself to blame. You came to me with your tragic little story. I didn't ask you to. This is the real world, not some romantic fantasy fairy tale. <laughs> Besides, you broke your promise first. You said that as long as you were here, no matter what, you wouldn't let Genocide Jack kill anyone. But in spite of that promise, I'm so sorry I can keep that promise. But don't worry, never again. I don't judge Jack have control ever again. You said if I kept my promise, you would go out with me. That's the only reason I promise. How many times do I have to tell you? I never said that, but you weren't able to do it. You just couldn't resist that rush you got from killing, could you? I, I tried. I swear I tried to control it, but, but... But your efforts were useless. What a disappointment. I hate you. Sure you do. Well, the opening act is nearly finished. All that's left is to hear from the person in question directly. The person? You don't mean... Toko's body began to lunge backwards. He stud echoed across the courtroom. For the next second. Well, hello there. Is it me you were hoping to see? How could she talk with that tongue? Right, and that's very uh phonetic, or clearly too. Oh <laughs> boy. She's so intense. Mom. Some virtuous tongue in action there. Like they say, sound and murderous mind, sound and murderous body. This one is so different from the one we've come to know. Kiggy don't care anymore. Kiggy don't care. It's like, she's like. Whatever. I'm bored now. Yes, well, the world is composed of a front and a back, you know. Just like how every inning has a top and a bottom, or how in the depths of every truth lives a little lie. Behind every dark and gloomy soul lives another that shines as bright as the sun! <laughs> this is the murderous fiend genocide Jack, Jill, Jack and Jill. This. This is... This is beyond insane! Um, Miss Jack, uh, uh, Jill, can I ask you a question? What's up? Dude, <laughs> it's like, so calm. Some of us think you might be the mastermind behind our entire situation. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I'll tell you! I am the mastermind of all masterminds! Just kidding! Then, it's not true? 
Of course it's not true. How dare you try to link me to that creepazoid? And another thing, the police and government and society in the outside world are totally powerless. I mean, they just let this idiotic bloodthirsty maniac go buck wild all over town. Sure, I'm a bloodthirsty maniac, but life is pain, right? To live is to hurt other people. It's a necessary evil if you want to survive. The act of living itself causes pain for everyone. Just kidding again! <laughs> <laughs> this should be enough to convince you. This murderous fiend is responsible for Chihiro's death. There's clearly a motive, so there should be no doubt. Oh. A motive? Remember what Monokuma told us? If someone didn't murder and graduate within 24 hours, an embarrassing memory or secret would be revealed. Did well, say that. Let's assume that Toko's secret was about genocide death. If a secret like that came to light, Toko's life would have undoubtedly been forever ruined. So she had a very clear motive to never have that side of herself exposed. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Hmm. Make, you make, make a good point. You make a good point. You got me. I'm sorry. As much as I hate to admit it, I'm not the culprit. Huh? But I cannot imagine anyone other than you could murder someone in such a bizarre fashion. Maybe so, maybe so, but nevertheless, it's the truth! Do you really expect any of us to believe you? Yeah! I could never believe a word you say, you monster! Hmm... Maybe... Just maybe... I can tell you right about that, but... Something's still bothering me. He says I need to get more details about, about all this. Sorry, but I didn't kill anyone. You say that, but do you really expect any of us to believe it? Perhaps if you had an alibi, that would change things. Oh, an alibi, huh? Now we're talking. When you compare your past murders to this incident, the modus operandi matches completely. What more proof do we need? Give it up. You killed her. Mm. Kill her? Oh, it's gonna match up. Sorry, but I didn't kill anyone. You say that, but do you really expect any of us to believe it? Perhaps if you had an alibi, that would change things. Oh, an alibi, huh? Now we're talking. When you compare your past murders to this incident, the modus operandi matches completely. No, it's wrong. You're wrong, Tagami. Are the methods of murder really exactly the same? I'm not so sure about that. I think there's a slight difference between the genocide jack cases and this one. Huh? How is it any different? that in a way that maybe makes more sense let me translate from from psycho to normal there are two clear differences between the genocide jack cases and this one murderous hmm? victim's fatal injury I got it. for one the cause of death is different 
In the Genocide Jack murders, all the victims were killed the same way. According to the case file, they were all apparently killed with a pair of scissors. But Chihiro died from a blow to the head, right? Yep. Ah, yes. That is remarkably different from the other murders. Wouldn't it be strange for someone who kills the same way without fail to suddenly change their method? And there's more. One more conflicting detail. That's right. In my recipe of murder, if the bloody message is the tortellini... Mm, tortellini, that sounds good. Then the arrangement of the body would be the pesto sauce. Could you please stop comparing killing people to cooking? So, are you saying the other difference has to do with how the body was arranged? That's right. It's like it's the way the other bird was. The killer used to suspend her? They used some kind of rope to hang her up by her wrists. What is your point? True, true. Well, in all the previous Genocide Jack cases, something else was used to suspend them. Specifically, pairs of razor sharp scissors. And guess what? I used my own specially designed scissors for the murders. The arrangement. Like I said, I'm a professional, so naturally I'm very picky about the tools I use. And, 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 and you know what else? Big Mac said there's two differences, but he's wrong. Big Mac, are you referring to me? I'm a Big Mac, not a Little Mac. I think he's more of a Little Mac. Definitely not a Double Mac. Jack, Jill's victims, and to here doesn't fit. I think I figured out it's because for a friend, shows her a lover. I got it. <laughs> Is it because Chihiro was a girl? Bingo, bullseye, right on the money. What are you talking about? Pay attention, dude. In all the genocide Jack cases, all the victims had something in common. Ken, 32, Tetsu, 17, Soviet, 23, Tango, 14, Takayashi, 30. Uh, there's no one to it. They were all guys? That's right! The people I kill with such passion and conviction are all adorable little men! I can't believe I said it! I'm so embarrassed! The hell is wrong with you? He's crazy! Just a full throttle boy on boy fan girl, and the mopey side of me just hates it. But now I'm on the fast track to becoming a full fledged fan madam! So, since Chihiro was a girl and not an adorable little man, you wouldn't kill her? Would an Italian chef suddenly start making ramen just because they're both noodles? Don't be stupid. I have too much passion and conviction to cross that line. That's the absolute reality of the one and only. We get it. You've clearly explained your hobby and your philosophy, but that's not all there is to it. It's a different matter entirely when you're forced to kill in order to survive. Quiet, lowly cur! Lowly cur? What? I am to I am Tagami, peasant girl. I could kill you and bring you back to life. 20 times over again. I would never kill for a reason as petty as mere survival. And if by some fluke I did kill to survive, why would I bother with the message and arrangement? It'd make me the obvious suspect! That does make some amount of sense. Plus, whatever reason I have for killing, I would never leave out my prized scissors. Who would go out of their way to use a big, stupid, heavy dumbbell? Maybe you use 
use the dumbbell because you couldn't find any scissors in the school? Any scissors? I don't just use any scissors. I only use my own set of high class envy of the entire world scissors. I'm biting my thumb. Cause that was so stupid. Okay, whatever. There still aren't any in the school. Are you sure about that? I keep them. I keep them on me at all times. She's fully equipped. That's right. So I can kill anywhere, anytime. Why would I resort to dumbbells or rope when I have my trusty scissors by my side? Go ahead, tell me I'm wrong. You can't, can you? Gutter dogs, all of you. Not to mention, I have no clue how to tie a good knot. <laughs> so rope's totally out of the question anyway. <laughs> Angry. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Could such a heinous villain really be innocent? But the body really was suspended, right? And nobody but the police knew about that. Oh, uh, but somebody did. Yeah. That's why we figured it had to be the real deal and not some copycat killer or whatever. Actually, hold on. There is one person. Copy to hijack cases. She should have told me about him. Yakuya, it's possible you could have found out, isn't it? You'd have no problem gaining access to classified government documents or internal police records. Plus, you'd already looked through the genocide jack file before this all happened, hadn't you? Are you saying Mr. Togami did it? Then, the reason he pushed the theory of Genocide Jack being the killer so hard was because he wanted to pin the crime on her. So, he rearranged the scene to disguise it and make it look like I put my stamp on it! The adorable glasses man was behind it all! Oh, I'm on fire! Well, Biakia, what's your response? I see. So now the suspicion falls on me. Then I must ask. When would you say I began acting suspicious? Surely you must have an answer. Hmm. Looking back and thinking about it now. Hmm. The way you were acting right before we discovered the body was a little strange. Locker rooms. They're suspicious, very suspicious. Indeed, wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? It seems no one starts locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. You wanted to go to the girls' locker room right away, right? But since you're a guy... I should have naturally thought of the boys' locker room first. Is that what you want to say? The victim was Chihiro, a girl. Hence why I said we should check the girls' locker room. Nothing strange about that, I'd say. Mm -hmm. On the contrary, there's something very strange. Okay, then. What's so strange about it? Go ahead. Share with the rest of the class. The class doesn't... What he said just, just said. And it blew to everyone. A new element has been added to the Nantum Would you like to hear more? Sure. Next we're going to call a true flashback. You need a weak spot and hold the down triangle button. You want to memorize that weak spot. This memorized phrase can only be shot at once as a true single truth bullet. If you shoot or change the truth bullet, it will disappear from your true cylinder. Ever you can use this flashback feature as many times as you want. You don't seem to have the answer to a lie or condition in your loaded in your truth bullets. It might be wise to memorize different weak spots and use them to make your case. The most time to flash back, well, you just have to use your king wits, but won't yeah. So you flash back, you'll use that flashback, you'll be referring to anything. 
Good luck then, have fun. for any guy the victim was Chihiro who was a girl so of course I would suggest we check the girls locker room first there was no time for pointless distractions what's so strange about that I wish you'd take me with you they let two three days yeah loser real addiction there Can't clear he was acting weird. If you're presented with the opportunity to check out the girls' locker room, you absolutely take it. That's a natural reaction for any guy. The victim was Chihiro. No, it's wrong. You're wrong, Tagami. I'll tell you what's so strange about that. He'll tell ya, but he'll tell ya next time. Cuz... It's... It's time... To end this. Be sure to help, help be sure to help me by hitting that subscribe and like button and that bell icon so you'll be updated when, it, when it, I, I get my upload these videos and if you want to help if you guys spare money help me out with that patreon I'm on this list oh it's helpful but in the meantime never stop learning enjoy the randomness I'll see you next time bye <laughs>